Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, I'm gonna be doing, like, not really something different, it's another medical review, but, what I'm gonna be doing is a rundown of my personal first aid kit, or IFAC. So, this is my regular rundown personal first aid kit. Later, I will do this first aid kit in a plastic bag, because that's where I also store it, but I'm only storing it in this pouch, condo empty pouch to be exact, it does not come with this kit on the side. Alright, I guess we're gonna start. So on the back of this Condor EMT pouch black, it has two molly um, strips, or mounts, I should call it. But these are just to mount it onto my belt. This is why I personally have this, because, well, you know, it mounts onto a belt and it's molly. After that, we have a little booby kit. It has all types of, like, crap in here, like band-aids, island dressings, like, you name it. Alright, now it's time to open it. So, um, time to start off with the first thing that is the most easiest to get out and what I would start getting out if I was if it was an emergency. It is it's hard to get out, hold up. Pull it and then this is a Israeli T3 bandage. Normal military style dressing. Now after that we have the regular Israeli bandage over here. It doesn't have the features like the T3. The T3 just has extra gauze pad and um, what's called a bigger um, additional um, gauze. Cat tourniquet. Simple, just regular tourniquet. Issued by the police or most officers have it. This one's a little hard to get out, so I'm not going to be using this one very much. Oleus Modular Bandage. As you see, again, it has... It's like the T3, except it has a um, an extra occlusive sheet in it, where you can use it as a chest seal. So, good... Thing to have again and the second pocket we have some alcohol wipes alcohol strips as I should call them alcohol wipes with these if a item is expired like for example this Israeli bandage is expired it's been open in my kit for no reason this you can use it put it on the wound for one minute if it's severely bleeding you just want to put a tourniquet on it um, but if it's not bleeding that much, put this on there for one minute, and then put on the expired medical item onto that. We have two of those in this kit so far. Next we have gloves, just regular nitrile disposable gloves. Anyone, anyone has to have gloves in a kit. Antibiotic cream, you rub this on a wound, and then it's fixed. Hell, I rubbed it on this wound, because it was big. And this wound. So I'm just gonna say this, that's actually pretty good. After that, we have the emergency blanket uh, to create shock. No hyphen vent, compact chest seal. There's a bunch of chest seals on the market, like gauze. Gauze. I don't know how to say it. CPR mask inside there too. And then, conforming bandage, rolled gauze, I use it. I would use this rolled gauze, personally. Like, if I've got to be honest, you can use this as rolled gauze, but again, it's not recommended. Then, after, behind the rolled gauze, we have some, um, dressings. I'm talking about gauze pads. We got one, two, three... And then the last one is expired for. So I'm going to put those aside. And then we have extra band-aids in this kit, if you can see it. Now that counts for the bag variant. I'm now going to move on to the, um, well, this is the end of the pouch variant. Now it's time for the bag variant. Alright, so this is the kit in its, um, variation where it's, um, what's good? 
in a bag. So this is not like any type of pouch one, which I showed you guys, the Condor EMT pouch. But this is in a plastic bag. This is just including the disinfectant cream and the extra band-aids. So we're now going to open this kit that is now in the bag and then show you what is in fact inside. Tip all this equipment out. I'll take out one by one. First of all, we have a um, emergency malar blanket to keep the patient warm. So if they have a, you know, um, after you treated everything like with bleeding, airway, all of that kind of stuff, you always need a good um, emergency blanket. Even th even though this is cheap, this was like two dollars. We got two of these. Um, they still work, so that's pretty good. The second thing that actually fell out is a CPR mask. Now. You don't use CPR masks for that much things, but they're okay. Like, you can use them for drowning or choking. Third thing that's in here is the Israeli T3 bandage. I know, like, I haven't showed you guys all of these things yet, but, you know, like, I don't do a review on them yet. It's a bandage, a pressure bandage with gauze and expendable sterile pad in it, so that's actually a good thing to have in a first aid slash trauma kit. Next thing we have a little boo-boo kit. This is just like, you know, a little like first aid kit. It's a kit in a kit, I understand, but you know, this is what's included. You can pause the video if you want to see it, the things in here. Anyways, put that to the side. Hyphen vent compact chest seal. Now, this is if you don't know what chest seals are used for, they're basically just used for um, closing up a hole into the chest cavity. What I mean by like closing up a hole, as in like if you get shot or stabbed in the lungs, chest, then um, the air would come out, air or blood, so, and this is vented, so it will vent the air and blood out. While there's other models like this which are not vented. So, I would go with vented, but personally, it's personal preference if you want to choose the high thin halo, non vented, and vented. If there's two, it says because it's an entry and exit wound. Because again, with bullets, they could sometimes tend to go through. Now, something simple the cap tourniquet, been used by. A bunch of people. This is the Gen 7 cat tourniquet. If you're wondering this is fake, you gotta actually buy cat tourniquets without the red tip. I don't offer that, I just bought it off TacMate Australia. I've been buying off them ever since, like, I got this chest seal and the Israeli and the Olea stuff over here, but... Yeah, this is not a fake, if you're wondering. Um, I tried it on myself, it hurts. Like, it hurts like hell. I have a fake cat tourniquet, that doesn't hurt as much. But like this, at least it gets compression. I didn't test this exact one. Now we have, I know this is like not really related to trauma, but this is for like moderate bleeding. We have three different types of dressings, just gauze dressings, 4x4 four four pads. So, so these are just used for covering up wounds or just absorbing blood. There's, we have three of them in one pack. Also, another two, other two things that fell out the kit, or one thing, but I'm just taking the other one out. Alcohol swabs to treat disinfe or infection. If you have infection, you bet you you're going to have to get surgery. If you don't want to get surgery, put these on. These work great for expired Israeli bandages or just any expired medical equipment that you're going to put on. Put this on first for one minute, leave it on for one minute. But if it's severe bleeding, just put a tourniquet on it. It doesn't matter. But after you got that, then you're good to go. We have... Um, disposable gloves. I know these are expired. I don't know what the difference are with expired and non-expired gloves. The two last things. First last is the conforming bandage. You can actually use this as gauze because I opened one of these. That it's actually just rolled gauze even though they name it a conforming bandage for some reason. So, I'm going to say, I don't know why they name it like that. Lastly, 
you, you already, you, you guys already saw this in the other kit, so I don't have to run down all of this, but I just did. The Oleus Modular Bandage. It's basically just a, like one of these Israelis, except it has gauze inside of it, roller gauze, and a chest seal. Only one of them. Only one chest seal. There's no twin pack like this. That's why I, I packed separate chest seals in my actual kit. So... I'm going to say that is all that I have for today, guys, because, well, I decided to just do this review because I've turned it into a medical channel. I got police tribute, and I'm doing medical. I don't know what I'm doing with all of this, but, um, overall, uh, if you hate it, if you like it, comment down below what you think about the med my medical kit, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.